More often, teachers are looking for ways to connect to students and parents outside the classroom. Blogs and websites are great, but what if you've already got an existing PowerPoint or a worksheet or document that you use in your classroom that you want your students to have access to? Well, there's a Web 2.0 tool out there that helps you with this, and it's called SlideShare. So today what I want to show you is how to upload um, some of your classroom resources to this website called SlideShare. I often upload my PowerPoint presentations, word processing documents, and even PDF documents to this site. What this allows me to do, obviously, is share it out with people 24-7, um, but I can also then take this information and embed it into my classroom website or my classroom blog or my classroom wiki. So I'll walk you through those steps. A SlideShare account is necessary and it is free. So once you get an account created, you can start uploading your um, resources. If you look at the top middle of my screen, you can see there's a button that says Upload. So I'm going to click on that button. And what that allows me to do is search my computer or navigate on my computer to the files that I want to upload. So I upload all of my documents publicly. If you only wanted to share these with a set group of people, you could upload privately and then invite them through email. I would recommend uploading publicly because um, oftentimes students don't have an email account that they can use to access. So um, I use upload publicly and then it asks me to now go find my documents that I would want to publish on the site. So I'm going to go to um, my documents that I have available and I'm going to find a tutorial and um, there's a document that's called Dropbox Getting Started. So I'm going to upload that tutorial for getting started with Dropbox. So I select that file, I click open, and then you can see that the upload progress is starting and I want to put in a title. I'm going to change this to getting started with Dropbox. And I always put tags on mine um, because most of mine are tutorials. I use that word. Um, you can see some of my other tags that I use are popping up as well. So, and then you want to put a quick description in there. And choose a category. I always choose education because my information I'm uploading is appropriate. So I choose education and then click Save Changes. When I do that, then my document um, is all ready to upload and publish. And when it's done, then it pops up like this. It tells me that my file is published and I can look at a quick preview of it. Now this document was a PDF document, so to navigate on the pages I'm going to click Downward. You can see there are five pages total, and so I can just click down and I also have a scroll box so I could sc or scroll bar excuse me so I could also scroll down scroll down very slowly in this document if I wanted to so this is slideshare.net a free web 2.0 tool that allows you to upload and share any of your classroom resources that you use